exit strategy. Exit strategy. How many of you are looking for an exit strategy out of the situation you find yourself in? The bills that are overwhelming. The relationships that are not going right. Oh my God, the children that are acting up, the grandchildren that are going off. Whatever the case may be, you're looking for an exit strategy. David put it this way. David said, look, oh, that I had wings of a dove. I'd just fly away from this, this situation. I would just let this all go. Well, this morning, we're going to be talking about exit strategy with respect to your deliverance. Exit strategy with respect to your deliverance. Going to give you the text to talk and the takeaway. The text to talk and the takeaway. Come on, let's get this word this morning. The text is this, Exodus 14, 13. Exodus 14, 13, you've heard it before, hear it again for the first time. Here it is, Exodus 14, 13. And Moses said to the people, listen, fear not, stand firm, get these commands and see the salvation of the Lord. Check these commands out, which he will work for you today. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. He's going to work it for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. Good God Almighty. Have you ever felt like, Lord, can you just vanquish, vanquish, make my enemies disappear, make this pain go away, make this problem go away? Well, here is the text and the talk about the text that's going to help you understand how you get some exit strategy. How you get some exit strategy. Here are the Israelites at the um, Red Sea, not knowing where to go, and they got to get an exit strategy. In front of them is the Red Sea, and back of them are the Egyptian soldiers coming up. Pharaoh and his army fast approaching. approaching. What do they do? Here's the very first thing. <laughs> stand still. Come on, wait a minute. Hold the phone. You mean there are people running after me and you want me to stand still? I do. When you've done all you can do, stand. And notice now the language that is used here is stand still. The Hebrew for stand still is the same word for be still and know that I am God. It has to do with the Hebrew understanding of the fourth hour watch. The cities were surrounded by gate, by uh, fences and walls, all right? The persons that would be standing guard would guard throughout. We call it 3 to 11, graveyard, day shift. Well, the graveyard shift was the fourth watch. Oh, about three, between three and six o'clock in the morning. The, the hour when you are the sleepiest and it's saying, be still in that moment, watch. Don't fall asleep. The same thing with respect to your deliverance. Stand. And when you've done all you can do, stand. Stand still. Be still and watch that God is about to move. Which means here is the second thing that's connected to that. See God at work. See God at work. Look at what he says. Stand and see the salvation of God. Sometimes we are so wrapped up with the situation that we fail to look for God in the situation. Look for God in the situation, in the midst of it all. God is at work there. God is at work. And be careful to point out when you see God, that you might be giving him praise when you see God. I recognize this is God. If you've not gone down for the third time, God is still in the midst. If they haven't taken you out, he's taking you up. If you have been pushed back, that's only so that you can be pushed forward. Look at God. Look for God in the midst. Stand still. It's the fourth watch. Now look for God in the middle of that. Not your enemy coming to attack, but God coming to deliver. Here's the third thing about the text. Stick to his word. Stick to his word. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word will stand forever. The grass wither and the flower fadeth away, but his word stands forever. Jesus said this upon his departure, says, I'm giving you the authority. The asusia is the Greek word. I give you the authority. I want you to get this. The enemy has power, but you have authority. 
You have authority and the authority comes through the word. So stand, be still, look, and then use the word. Speak into your deliverance. What's your takeaway this morning? There are times when God shows up when you're in the midst of the battle. Let me help you understand what I'm saying. The time when God shows up is in the battle. Let me say it a third time. You'll get it. The time when God shows up is in the battle. In other words, it's not until the battle that you see God. Most of the time you want to look for God. You don't see God on the beach. You don't see God chilling. You don't see God. Then you see God when you're in the battle and he's going to show up. The Lord be with you today. May his face shine upon you and give you peace. I'll see you tomorrow with more morning manna as we go even deeper about deliverance. God bless you. Share the manna. Don't keep it to yourself. Bye now.